Greetings family, we're live on Revolutionary Camp and we're back with our wonderful sister Troya Hello. Bishop as she goes into details about how she was inspired to write her book. And family, once again, since she doesn't have the book with her because she was sold out, because she printed so many copies <laughs> and everybody just wanted to get a copy and they got it, check it out right there. Yes, the answers to intimacy, why men need oral sex and women need to talk. Perfect. So Troy like these uh you know is is inspired and she get into these deep conversations. Mm -hmm. Now originally you wanted to put a head and or, or blow job and things like that. I did. And uh that's uh, in uh, some you know, somebody may be saying, What in the hell is going on in your mind to say that and then compare that to women that's wanna talk. You know uh but anyway, uh, I'm sure you have some wonderful explanations. Well, to I, I guess apparently <laughs> I have learned in this whole process, I'm not nearly as conservative as most other people. I didn't think there was anything wrong with it. When I sent it to the marketing group and when I sent it to Bomani, he was like, hell no, you can't use the word. <laughs> use oral sex, use something else. So that's how, that's how we actually ended up with that word for the title. But um, I didn't know. I didn't know it was a big deal. And I didn't know. It's, it's so much stuff that I didn't know. And, but it, now it makes sense because I was not planning on writing this book. First of all, I'm at the end of my doctoral program. So I'm already writing a prospectus and um, pretty much done with that part of it, working on a proposal, working on a lot of other stuff. That's what's up. You're going to be a sex therapist, Dr. Uh, Troya. Yeah. But I mean... For real? That's what's up. <laughs> I could. But I mean, I, this, it wasn't in the plan, but I'm so glad that I, I went ahead and did it. Hey, I mean, if you can attract audience uh, by doing certain things, hey, you know, it's all good. You know, that's why they have people at strip clubs and things like that. That's true. You know, so, you know some people tend to just find their niche right. <laughs> along all boundaries and lines. Very true. Yes, so, yes, hopefully you got some good advice. Uh, you, you you have to actually go through some successful relationships to actually get good advice. But, what, what, but, then again, that that mean, <laughs> but then again, that don't mean anything because... Uh, great relationships. <laughs> oh, oh, exactly. There you go. So you're expert. You now you can tell people based on your um, your experience. So based on the, the core title of your experience, um, you know, you gotta tell people how they gotta satisfy that need. Um, you know, I'm looking at that book and the but book. The book is not about how. The book just got it's a lot of about lips. Why? It got a lot of lips. You got uh, you got a a blow. You got a I don't know. I'm not sure what all these things are, but you got a different version of lips. Right there, so. Well, I mean, the book is the word "wise" and the the title twice, and um, yeah, I mean, it's not it's not a how to guide, it's not a sex guide, it's not that. The book really is about intimacy, what intimacy is, and why you need it in a relationship, and what different people's needs are, and so. Um, you know, I'm really asking people to put down your um, American framework of what relationships should look like and just go back to kind of common sense, which a lot of times American and common sense do not go hand in hand. <laughs> and it also doesn't go hand in hand with research either. <laughs> so we need to, yes, that's real. So we're going to have to really look at how you can at least meet that person's need. Um, ask questions don't be offended and um, again this is not relationship advice this is research and I'm, I'm telling you what what I know um, from research and what I wish I had known before I got married so um, you know it's real it's from the heart I think everybody really is gonna love it it's the book starts with a history of broken intimacy between um, african-american men and women and you have to understand that when we left the shores of Africa, we were separated intentionally. And when we got to America, we were separated intentionally. And the only reason African people who were enslaved were allowed to marry was because of the success of the Haitian rebellion and a lot of the other rebellions that started to go on. And they, the slave masters figured, well, maybe if we let them marry, it will make them more docile. Because the, the basic fundamentals of every human being is to need attachment and connection so that's the only reason why we were allowed to even live together and be together in the first place and of course it was also for capitalistic reasons they really wanted a reliable source to continue to get more slaves and after slave after they the the slave trade ended that's where that came from 
And so it was capitalism, not humanism and not compassion that allowed us to get married. And so historically, black men and black women have been separated intentionally and so how we show up in relationships now because really that was just about six generations ago and so how we relate to each other now is still the same because we're still dehumanized and still um oppressed through the system and so we have to be intentional with making sure that we say hey how can i meet your need in this relationship it's important to me how can you feel powerful in this relationship it's important to me and the need to feel powerful is real it predates uh, when we got to America. It's really it's prehistoric need. And so we have to ask ourselves, what can I do to make sure your need is met? When I know that you are oppressed and beat up every single time you leave this household, I want to make sure that you are king when you are in my home. Or I want to make sure that you're queen when you're in my home. we got to really be intentional with loving each other and seeing the, the value in doing that. Excellent. That's and a uh, long well. answer. <laughs> Excellent. That's our well laid out family. Um, and so that's basically all the things that you want people to get from the book, get from your work, get from what you're trying to share. I know people are going to get what they, you know, what they're going right. to get. Is that it? Well, I mean, that's, yeah, in a nutshell. In a nutshell. Perfect family. So our sister family is going to reload on those books and that way she can you know, be out there selling and shipping them all over the place. And when are you going to have these books available for shipping? December 15th. If, um, you know, if you order them directly from me, December 15th. If you want the digital download, you can get that today. Cash at me right now. I got you, boo. Um, you got to get them all the information and let them know because some people want to get something a little in intimate and freaky uh, as far as uh, getting ready for the holidays, the Christmas and things. And, uh, and you know... Tell them about that secret um, illustration page that's in the book about demonstration. Ain't no secret <laughs> illustration page. But what you can do, we, the book does come with an action guide. So after each chapter is an action guide where we actually ask you to ask yourself questions about the history of your family. So for example, chapter one, what's the history of your family? How did your parents meet? What, you know, how did their, their love play out in your life? What did that look like? Then in chapter two, we talk about trauma because the trauma that your spouse, your significant other experienced directly affects you in your relationship. It's not, it's not an indirect, it directly affects you. So you have to deal with that. So we give you a guide to help you to go through all of that. So it's no, um, no freak nasty stuff in the book, but, um, let me look at this title again. <laughs> It's no freak nasty stuff in the book, but it is a really good book. It's going to help you to connect on a deep, intimate level. And you are going to, um, I think you're going to really leave and just feel. So it better be some freaky stuff in the book <laughs> called false, false advertisement. You'll feel, um, you'll feel comfortable. Because you're going to go through the action guide right. with your significant other and ask them what they need. So that's where the freak stuff comes from. You want to know what your spouse needs, not what I like, not what mine like, not what anybody else like. You want to know specifically what they need and why, W-H-Y, why they need it. What does that look like? How will it play out in your relationship? That's the most important thing that I want you to get from it. Be creative with yourself. So porn is not the answer. No shade or disrespect to the porn industry. But you need to be open enough to figure out what you need and why, what your partner needs and why, and how you can make sure that you give them what they need. Excellent. Uh, you are on point. That is what's up. You probably get like a whole lot of fan mail and proposals <laughs> all week long, right? Men, men asking you to take you take you around the world, give you pearls and all kind of things, right? Yeah, absolutely. That's what's up. <laughs> so when, when, well, where's the last place you've been taken to then? Um, other than down the block. <laughs> other than down the block. Well, um, I actually have gone on some pretty good dates lately. Out, but, the, out um, of the country? Not out of the country. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. But I do have a passport if you want to take me somewhere. That is what's um, up. That's what's up. No, I shouldn't say that because somebody has to go to Mexico and I told him no he was mad. <laughs> so, okay, so hey. now I scratched that. We'll edit that part out. I'm not going nowhere with you. <laughs> if I don't know you, I ain't going. <laughs> It might be trying to take you to Mexico for something else. <laughs> right. I'm not, I'm not going with you. So, yeah, but I'm still um, lost in Mexico. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that 
I'm going to be missing it someday. Yeah, that bond's on one of the porn sites. <laughs> so crazy. Right. So we're going to keep it local. If your zip code is 30034, I'll let you girl. But if you are out of the country, I got so many emails from people in Africa. I love y'all so much. About the Ghanaian brothers, you know, they like yes. smooth brothers. They like smooth oh my God. And, my and they is fine. That is what's up, man. You like the man nigga warriors. Yes, nigga. but I'm not. Look yeah. here. I live in Atlanta. I'm getting me uh, a house in uh, the markets, the new markets, Garvey City, that's two hours away from Ghana. But the city is not going to be ready. It's not going to be ready for us to move there, at least until after 2020. So I'm pacing myself. However, I don't not try to stay single that long. So I need for somebody who already live here to holler at me because I'm not doing long distance and all that kind of stuff, and I appreciate folks trying to fly me here and fly me there. That's very flattery. That is just but, some um, of you, you play a player. <laughs> <laughs> All right, family. Yeah, this is Bomani Tamba, and uh, we're going to continue to give you some more excellent footage of Troy Bishop as she's excited to just launch off our career as a sex therapist <laughs> slash psychoanalyst slash author of intimacy. You know, she does it all. Stay tuned, family.